Hi there. In this video, we're going to look at pulse width modulation. On the UNO, there are digital pins uh, 0 to 13, and some of them are capable of pulse width modulation, the ones with the squiggle in front of them. So pin 3, pin 5, pin 6, pin 9, pin 10, pin 11. Pulse width modulation is a way of fooling uh, your eye into thinking that the, a, the digital output is actually analog by turning it off and on at a certain uh, duty cycle uh, very, very quickly. Let's take a look at how that actually works. Pulse with modulation. So if we look at a graph, then we have 0 volts and plus 5 volts. When we turn on a pin, it goes from 0 up to plus 5, and then when we turn it off, it goes down to 0. And you see that as an off, then on, and then off. And this usually happens, this happens, you know, it may happen, this is one second, this is 500 milliseconds. So it's fast enough, fast enough for us to tell that the light has turned on during this period of time. But we can, using pulse width modulation, do something like this. Very, very quickly, turn on and off the digital pin. In this case, I'm turning it off 50% of the time, and then I'm turning it on 50% of the time. This is known as 50% duty cycle. C Y C C Y C L E. 50% duty cycle. If I turn on if I turn on the LED for 10% of the time then that LED will look very dim. And because of persistence of vision, what makes films possible and, and television, the property of our eyes that, that hold the light longer than it flashes, with a 10% duty cycle, this LED appears very dim. So in software, we use the analog, analog, write command. Which gives us the address, which pin we want to, uh, we want to enact. And then any number between 0 and 255. So we have 255 steps. An analog write of 127 would give a 50 percent duty, duty cycle. That's 127 is midway between 0 and 255. If we have a an analog write of 255, that duty cycle would be 100%. It would be always on. If we put in zero, it would be always off. And you've got 255 steps in between. So let's set that up. Once again, 5 volts to the 5 5 volt bus ground 
the ground bus. Get our 220 ohm resistor to protect our LED from current overload. And then we'll connect up our LED to one of the pulse width modulation uh, pins, either 11, 10, 9, 6, 5, or 3. So let's move over to the, uh, the screen to look at our sketch. So here's our sketch. It's called PWM underscore demo. We start out with a constant. This is uh, sets the pin, the LED pin. We're going to use pin 9, which is a pulse width modulation capable pin. We have nothing to do in the setup. And for the loop, I'm counting up an integer called i will count up from 0 and go to 255. This just means that we're adding 1 every time we loop through this section. So we'll start out with 0 and then we'll go up to 255. Every time we go through this we write uh, a number from 0 to 255 out to pin 9. We'll delay 100 milliseconds, and then we'll increment uh, i, and then increase that number by 1. When we get up to 255, then we'll go into this mini routine. This will count down from 255 to 0. This is the uh, decrement um, statement. And here we have a delay as well. Let me check this, verify it, upload it, and now we'll switch to uh, the camera. Okay, so we'll connect it up to pin 9. We'll see if we can perceive any change. It seems like it's getting a little bit dimmer. Maybe hard to see on the camera, but it is getting dimmer. It's very, very slowly. Dimming down. There. Now it's increasing. I'm going to decrease the delay to 10 milliseconds, and I'll upload that. And it should go a little bit faster now. You can see it dimming. It gets to the end. So what's actually going on? Let's take a look at the waveform. I have a little mini uh, oscilloscope here. So you can see when the duty cycle gets low enough, it gets very, very dim. Let's slow that down. Let's go back to a delay of 100. Upload. So it's starting at zero. The duty cycle is increasing. Now, the oscilloscope is telling us that the wave is about 240 hertz. So each cycle 
there are 240 of them in one second. So that's turning on and off very, very quickly. It's certainly too fast for the, uh, for the camera to see that. And this rate holds uh, whether you've got a zero duty cycle or a 100% duty cycle. So um, when we get down to something which is a very, very small duty cycle, you can see it get very, very dim and go out, and you can almost see the steps that it's going out at. So let's try one more thing. We'll set the delay, set the delay to five milliseconds, and it should increase and decrease very, very quickly. So that's pulse width modulation. See you next time.